There's not a whole lot to the small community of Greenbrier, but one thing that is here is one of the best eating places anywhere to be found, Greenbrier Barbecue. I have served Walter Mondale at this table right here. That's my knife, Linda. Sitting right here. Pat Dempster's just one that has helped make Greenbrier the favorite eating place of many. Jamie, it's just like you get in this, in this place and with these people and you become a family. I mean, we just feel like we're just one big family. And that's just the way it is. Pat, along with others like Leona Pack, Ruby Kennington, and Joanne Hogan, have each spent a good 20 years or more building the Greenbrier reputation. You know why? Come on, these people come from all around here. Well, they like good food, good service. All us good looking girls. <laughs> Greenbrier for the past 25 years has been owned and operated by Margaret Ma Brzezette. The catfish, barbecue chicken and pork are all under her direction. When we first opened, me and one more lady, the one that sit right over there, run this by herself during the way. I'd take orders and go back and cook it. So it was two of us during the way. How many customers would you have? Oh, maybe 10, 15 a day, 20. All you got to do to make people happy is give them good service and good food. Price ain't got nothing to do with it. Don't worry about the price, just feed them. How often do you eat in here? Every day. Food is real good, the atmosphere is friendly, can't beat it. Tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, Greenbrier, as we've known it for years, will close its doors. But within a month, in a new location on Highway 20, Greenbrier will reopen and be ready for business. With the same food. Same food and same people. The same good old people. At Greenbrier, your country rover, Jamie Cooper. Give me another one of them hush buttons. We get no TV, man.